Hello everybody, in this video I'm going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $111,456.55. In the past year I am up $41,050.31. Year to date for the year 2024 I am up $19,269.79. Today was a huge green day for me. I'm up over $4,000 today. During the day, I was up $4,217.94. After hours, I'm down $247.42. So overall, about $4,000 up today. For my options, I'm selling Amazon $185 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return, zero. I have Amazon $140, $130 with credit spreads. These expire October 18. My total return $34. I have Amazon $200, $210 call credit spreads. These expire October 18. My total return $14. I'm selling Delta Airlines $49 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return $368. I'm selling Disney $95 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return $52.02. I'm selling SoFi $8 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return. I am down $1,000. $280. I'm selling Target $150 covered calls. These expire October 18. My total return $160. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return $1,353. Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $1,000. I have Disney $70 calls. These expire December 19th, 2025. My total return, $3,711. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $186.09. My average cost, $185.26. My total return, $248.32. I have 6,400 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $8.36. My average cost, $6.12. My total return, $14,361.95. I have 400 shares of Disney. Disney is at $95.28. My average cost, $86.35. My total return, $3,573.15. I have 100 shares of Target. Target is at $152.87. My average cost, $154.50. My total return, I am down $163.89. I have 400 shares of Delta Airlines. Delta Airlines is at $49.17. My average cost, $50.73. My total return, I am down $624.04. This is a margin account. My margin total is $103,999.75. My margin used is $77,077.46. My options collateral is $12,000. This leaves me with $14,922.29 in buying power. My margin status is low risk. 
My buffer is $42,850.99. This is how much money I can lose before I get margin called. My annual interest rate is 6.05%. The daily interest I'm paying is $12.79. And I'm borrowing $1,000 of margin interest free. So very big day today, up about $4,000. So I'm very happy about that. If we compare this to the return of the S&P 500, or rather uh, SPY year to date. So for my portfolio, 20.90% year to date. So I'm going to look up SPY. Year to date is 21.21. So very, very close. I'm catching up, but for now, I'm just a little bit behind the returns of SPY uh, year to date. That is now again, a lot of my positions expire on the 18th. So that's really the big day that I'm watching out for. Something to note that is because so many of my stocks went up in price today, this kind of changes the situation I'm in with my covered calls. Let me explain a little bit. So for Amazon, I chose a strike price of 185. Right now, Amazon is now above 185. So it was below, but then today it's now at 186. So 186.09. So what this means is if at expiration on October 18th, Amazon is at 186, that means my shares will get called away, which means it's going to, uh, you know, re be removed from my portfolio and go to the other side. Um, for the person who actually bought the calls, I'm the one selling the calls, right? So the person who bought the calls, um, the shares will go to them. But yeah, that's only if it stays above 185 at expiration, which is, I mean, it's at 186 right now. So who knows where it's going to be then? It's, it's really close. It's like, um, it could go either way at expiration. Next up we have, um, well, I'll just go from up here. So Delta airlines, I chose strike price of 49. Again, super close. It's at $49 and 17 cents. So slightly over. And if it stays this way, same thing. I'm going to get my shares of Delta airlines called away. And then I, I still end up making some money because of the covered call. Um, but my shares will get called away and I'll lose it from my portfolio. Um, yeah, in, in all of these covered call situations, if at expiration it's above the strike price that I chose, I do still end up making some money. But uh, if the share price goes up way too high, like way, way high, then overall I kind of missed out on money if that were to happen. But still, it's, it's at least something. Anyways, let's go on to uh, Disney. So my Disney calls, I chose a strike price of 95 for the calls that I'm selling. And again, super close. Disney is at $95.28, so uh, barely over, like a few cents over. So again, if it stays this way at expiration, I'll get my shares of Disney removed from my portfolio and called away. And I'll make some money from the covered calls. Um, and then SoFi, now this is a special one because SoFi, I do want to keep my shares. However, it is above the strike price that I chose, but it's not expiration date yet. Right now it's the fourth and these expire on the 18th. So there's 14 days left to go. And I don't know what price SoFi is going to be on the 18th. I just know what price it is now, but I'll have to keep an eye on this. Anyways, I chose a strike price of $8. And so far is at $8.36. So a couple cents over the strike price that I chose, but I don't want it to stay this way. I, if it actually is over $8 at expiration, I will roll it out so that I can keep my shares. But for now, I'll just keep it like this on. I'll, I'll see what happens in the next two weeks. Um, but yeah, I, I don't want these to get called away. I, I want to do something. Um, to keep my shares if it actually stays above $8, but we'll see. 
and then target I chose a strike price of 150 this one's at 152 and 87 cents so uh, it is over uh, the strike price and this one I don't care to I'm not desperate to keep my target shares it's it's fine if these get called away and I'll end up making you know some money um, if it stays above 150 but yeah that's pretty much it for my covered calls that I'm expecting to expire in the next two weeks I'll keep a close eye on all of them and I'll keep on making more updates to let you guys know what's going on but for now this is pretty much it for my portfolio update if you guys like this type of content please make sure to like and subscribe and i'll keep on making more of these videos thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time bye